My name is Ryan Sen. I'm a product specialist here with New Leader Manufacturing. Today I'm in Magnolia, Minnesota, and we're going to be working with a G5 machine with a multiplier and multi-bin installed. Today what we want to talk about is simple steps you can take to maintain your machine throughout the day and at the end of the day. Anytime that we're working on a machine, we want to make sure that the engine is off and the hydraulics are disabled. To start, we're going to look at the spinner discs and the spinner fins. We want to make sure that the uh, spinner disc is clean and there's no material buildup. While I'm looking at the fins, it's a good time to inspect for any damage. These fins, they look physically like they're in good shape, but I am beginning to see a slight ripple on the front, so that's an indication that the fin is starting to wear and may need to be replaced here in the near future. The next item that you're going to want to look at is you're going to want to remove the material divider back plate. Very simple and straightforward. What we don't want to see is we don't want to see product buildup on the face of that back plate. Here I've scraped it off down to bare metal. Also with the back plate removed we want to inspect the front face of our material divider here. And again as you can see any material buildup we're going to want to remove and take it back down to bare metal. On a G5, we're also going to have our vane assembly. We're going to want to pull this out and just make sure the vane assembly still moves freely. And if we're beginning to see a significant amount of buildup, we're going to want to scrape that out. Next, after inspecting the vane assembly on a G5 or a material divider on a G4, we're going to want to take a closer look at our uh, waterfall divider. The waterfall divider is located directly above the vane assembly on a G5 or directly above the material divider on a G4. What we're looking for there is we want to make sure that it's free of any foreign material that may have gotten in to your bins throughout the day and also make sure that the veins are free of any significant buildup. Next on a G5, we're going to want to shift the fan frame all the way to the left and all the way to the right. By doing this, this allows us to gain access to the back side of the fan frame and either with an air hose, blow out any built up material, or with a pressure washer at the end of the day, we can also clean that entire area out and make sure that it's clear for the next day. I thank you for taking a minute to watch this service tip video, and I also thank you for being a valued new leader customer. Have a great season.